fifth brothers and sisters. Do you understand sisters. what I'm saying? So, again, it's about replacing something with something else. Mm. We went to an event that's in line with um, Peace on the Streets last night, mm. and it was this um, music event, and mm. it was um, by Mark Anthony Abel. Mm. He was the one who... He's also uh, on YouTube. Yeah, he's on YouTube as well. Okay, brothers and sisters, so you can check him out. I haven't checked it out yet either, so, um, you know, be cautious. Is that your disclaimer? Home. No, it's not, because we're all family and he's trying to do something good. But all I'm saying is I haven't seen it yet because it was only last night that, okay. that we went to the event. Anyway, he started up um, a, a little campaign, a large campaign, mm. to take the guns out of... His, um, the campaign said that they want to take the guns out of the hands of the children and put a musical instrument in their hand instead. Mm. That, again, is replacing the negativity with something more positive. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, playing a musical instrument is a discipline. And um, one of the things that came out of the event last night was that they were saying that, you know, you have and um, we can have um, there's many classes and musical instruments and, and lessons that you can go to mm. via your council. Like in the councils, they have places where you can learn musical instruments and your children can learn instru musical instruments. But we've just got to go around and start asking questions. OK. Mm. But all of that was to say that the reason why we're doing this, um, stop the killing and start the living because what we always do is we always tend to look at somebody else. Oh, it's the white man, that's why we're in this situation. Oh, it's this man, it's this brother who I was with, who I haven't had my child with. Mm. You know, uh, the reason why I'm the way that I am is because of him. Mm. It's the older generation, or her. it's the younger generation. Yeah, that's it's right. It's really our lynched. children, that's right. It's always somebody else. However, self-improvement is the basis of community de development. And the room for self-improvement is the biggest room in the house so that we're here. Could you break that down? You know, we hear that all the time, that self-improvement is the basis for community development and we skip on. What 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 does it mean to you no, under I, the yeah. surface of self-improvement, the basis of community development? No, I, I always, um, I always, like, sometimes I'll, I'll talk about it on, on a deeper level or a more, a more practical level because mm. it's a practical thing. Mm. It's not just about words, brothers and sisters, because anyone can talk about words, mm. but we're talking about living in a better way. We're talking about if I pray mm. and if I... If Sister Janet, you're talking about. That's right, mm. me as an individual. If I say my prayer, I tend to be karma. If I'm karma, I transmit karma around my children. Mm. If I transmit karma around them, it generates karma within the home. Mm. If I then take that outside and I meet someone that I know, I'll transmit that to them. Mm. They can then take that home. Mm. That's self-improvement, which is the basis of community development. Mm. Just me staying calm and just me having something constructive and practical to share, not only with my children, but someone in the community, mm. that helps to bring about peace within the community. Mm. If I'm in a foul mood, not even an angry mood, if I'm in a foul spirit and a foul mood, and someone looks at me while I'm on the street, and I look at them like, who you think you're looking at? Mm. Then I'm gonna transmit anger, and then that anger- Negativity and frustration. And that's right, and they're gonna take that home with them and not even realize sometimes that mm. we're ta they're taking it home with them, mm. which means I'm bringing a bad spirit and bringing death into my community because they may go home and be frustrated at the way that I handled them and the way that I spoke to them and the way that I may have cursed them. And then they may end up beating up one of their children or so you're saying one of their children. Basically, leadership qualities start from the self, submitting self. Exactly. Because that self applies to me, that self applies to you, that self applies to the children. The children could uh, inspire us when we're feeling bad because they are, you know, striving to improve themselves, have submitted themselves, have done their prayer. You know, every individual has the potential to, you know, extol that calm yeah that calm atmosphere that that self-improvement that is the basis of all our development as a community and as a people yeah and it doesn't even have to be something like that it could be like bringing going and visiting uh, visiting someone and bringing them a loaf of bread you know something to eat it could be just a phone call how are you rather than asking someone what they mm. can do for you saying how are you you know mm. i was thinking of you and i just wanted to make sure that you were okay mm. You know, all of these things are helping to stop the killing because they generate life. Mm. They generate care. Mm. It generates love. Mm. And it's stuff that we can do today. But, you know, in order to do that stuff, the person who uh, who submits their self to self-improvement needs to be connected to something. 
Of course. So I guess that's where we're going. Yeah, but each of us are connected to something because we're we're not only connected to one another, but we're connected to God. Mm. But we have to recognise and appreciate Mm. that connection. And that's why I spoke about prayer. Mm. And that's why Ramadan is an excellent time for not only Muslims, but anyone who believes in God. Because all of us can get involved. It's not exclusive for Muslims. Mm. It's not exclusive for people who are who are striving in the way of Allah mm. to fast. Mm. It's not. It's not just for us to pray. You don't have to see yourself as part of um, part of a Christianity or Islam or even Jehovah's Witness for you to say a prayer. Mm. You don't have to. Mm. You can do that. You can talk to God whenever you like because He belongs to you too, and mm. we belong to Him. Mm. He be- and because we be- belong to each other, we should have access to one another. When we need to or when we feel to. But you know you're going to get those people who are going to be upset with that statement. Why? Those people who believe that, that Allah mm-hmm. God is exclusively theirs. I mean, even us in the nation of Islam, uh, brothers and sisters, we, we get into struggles with people who believe that Allah belongs to them. Uh, sister Janet, my wife, gets into struggles with females who believe that her clothes belong to them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, what do you say to those people who believe that Islam is mine? You know, it's not yours. You're not a Muslim. I think that's the thing, because um, Allah said in the Quran, and we spoke about it last week, every nation has been given their own acts of devotion. Mm. And everyone has to come to God at some point. Mm. And if I come in a way that looks similar to yours, mm. praise be to Allah. It doesn't belong to you because mm. everything belongs to Allah. Mm. And everything, as we're taught within Islam, comes back to Allah. Mm. It doesn't stop at you. Mm. It's not your religion. Mm. It's not your way of life. Mm. It's supposed to be ours. And that's why Allah said in the Quran, to all of us Muslims, he said, make room in your assembly, make space in your assembly, move over, <laughs> make space, make space. Tim <laughs> Westwood, <laughs> make space. That's right. Make space. Mm. Mm. But you know, some people just like to complain and carp because at the same time they're saying that the clothes belong to them. They're saying, why are you wearing that silly suit and bow tie? Yeah. So, you know, they will always find a reason to make some kind of division, some kind of distinction to those who are striving to learn about Allah, striving to learn about themselves. And in truth, they are striving to learn as well. We must remember that, that they are striving to learn as well. So it's not that they've got it and they have arrived, which is the way they present themselves. They're learning too. They're coming from a very dysfunctional, very damaged uh, culture. We're coming from a very damaged, very dysfunctional culture, but in a damaged, in a different way. So in truth, there's going to be some differences. Because we're coming from different directions, but aiming to move in the same direction. Yeah, but I think that's where um, I think that's where respect comes into it. Because each of us from, are coming from different places. Mm. You and I are coming from different places right. in terms of um, the way that we were reared mm. by our families. I mean, both of our parents were, and both of our parents are from Jamaica. Mm. However, and um, from the same kind of culture. However. Your parents reared you different than I did, and we had your parents very, very were city different... parents, weren't they? They were from Kingston. Yeah, city. but yeah. they were from the country in Kingston, so don't. Um, yeah, okay. they, they, they... Country part of Kingston. Yeah, that's okay. right. Where were yours from? So country, I don't know. Country, never yeah. Come. Oh yeah. Right. So even. Go ahead. No, go ahead, sister. Right. So even in terms of that, even though.